Oh, you better be alert. I might just throw a random fry in the middle. Oh, who's faster? That was good. Handles well. Second gear pull. They can see I didn't really catch him. I mean, he had a head start. I guess they've massaged the cam a little bit from the Z900 to the, to the Z900 RS. They've decreased both the intake and exhaust valve duration. I think it's from 270 degrees to 248 degrees for the intake and 256 to 244 degrees for the exhaust. The decreased trades peak horsepower for low end and mid-range torque. Having a large duration at low RPM tends to decrease torque because there isn't enough flow to efficiently fill the cylinders. Okay, so to explain this a little bit further, I have a demonstrative model of a cam and roller rocker that I've constructed here in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, kinematically, duration is essentially when the valve follower is off the cam base circle. The accepted standard of duration starts at, uh, I think, 50 thousandths of, of valve opening. So when the follower is tracking the cam base circle, it's at what's called uh, the low dwell. There are actually four stages that comprise the cam profile. You have low dwell, uh, lift or rise, and then you have high dwell, which in this case doesn't have much of uh, a dwell. And then you have the fall, and then obviously the cycle starts over. So let me plot the uh, follower response so you can see what I'm talking about graphically. Now we can plot all sorts of things here like the follower velocity and acceleration and uh, the jerk which is uh, the time-based derivative of the acceleration which actually tells you when the follower will jump or, or float off the cam during operation. But uh, we'll just plot the valve face displacement uh, versus time. And you can see it here graphically you've got the dwell then the rise, then the high dwell, then the fall. Now generally uh, duration is measured off of crank angle but we're just using time here in the horizontal axis. Now having a large duration at low RPM tends to decrease torque because there isn't enough flow to efficiently fill the cylinders for large throttle openings which tends to bog the cylinders down. Uh, at high engine frequencies, high revs, you, know, you want a large duration so the engine can take advantage of the high flow rate. So if we're playing Kawasaki engineers here in order to increase low end torque by reducing duration, uh, what we essentially want to do is maximize as much of the uh, base circle real estate as possible. Now this is just a, a notional CAM profile. You know, there's an enormous amount of, of synthesis and analysis that goes into this process. And uh, the equations that define the CAM profile are um, probably too complicated to cover in just a, a short video. But um, this will give you an idea um, how it's done. Now if I draw a construction line for the beginning of the duration for each of the cam profiles, you can see the difference in the duration angle here. It's about 15 degrees. Now that's just on one side. If you consider both sides, it's 30 degrees. So you can see just a small alteration in the cam profile produces a pretty large change in, uh, in duration. So let me just uh, mate this cam into the assembly. On the left we have the shorter duration cam for better low end torque. And on the right is the longer duration cam for the you know better high end power. So let's uh, run the analysis here. So you can see the longer duration cam on the right starts sooner and finishes later than the shorter duration cam on the left. And graphically you can see the shorter duration represented here and the longer duration cam represented here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Boom.